Alright, welcome back to my tutorial on designing an ALU in Logisim. Um, in the last part, we put together our entire carry look ahead. Um, it's about a 20 minute process, the time I took to explain it. If you look at the final circuit though, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, and we're utilizing silk circuits, everything labeled nice. So the next thing we're going to do is design our, uh, our three bit and or and not operations. So these are always much easier than people anticipate. Um, and I know the first time I did this, I thought it was going to be terribly difficult. This is actually so easy that it would probably take me more time uh, to use the Logisim circuit analyzer to uh, uh, put these together than it's even worth. It, it would take me longer to use that. So literally, for this, we're going to put down three AND gates. I'm going to make the inputs on this two. Now we're going to need uh, six input pins. I'm going to set them to all face the AND gates. up needing three output pins. So literally all we're doing with this is we're taking you know a, a three bit uh, value and we're ending it with another three bit value. So how are we going to do that? We'll make that A0, we'll make this B0, and that's seriously all we're going to do. So I'm going to do that with the other ones now. Um, shouldn't take that long. So with a 4-bit or a, let's say a 10-bit, you would do this 10 times. Um, it's very easy. Just just follow the steps. I, um, it's really not a big deal. In fact, um, for school, I've actually had several assignments where I was going to be uh, designing uh, these AND or OR operations and for different classes. So pretty much every time, I just copy and pasted them. I mean. There was, you know, no real point in, in doing them new every time because they're the same. I just had to add on for different assignments. So, last one, C3. Move these tunnels in just so it looks a little nicer. Now, I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing because it's pretty much the same for the OR. I'm just going to delete these gates just to save time. And I'm going to put an OR gate in there. Now I, I always like to change the number of pins to 2. You could leave it at 5, it'll still work. You'll just have unconnected pins. It won't matter. Um, and now for the NOT, pretty similar. Uh, we're going to delete a lot of this though. We're going to just get rid of all the stuff for these. We'll make these line up. And I'm literally just going to take a NOT gate, and I'm going to put it in between them. That is all. Okay, Couldn't be easier. So that's how you uh, put together the AND, OR, and NOT operations for an ALU. Certainly we could do other operations, but I'm not going to do that. I think, you know, uh, demonstrating this, you could do any of the other XORs or, or whatever you need. It's pretty easy. Uh, so in the, the last part, we're going to wire up the entire ALU, and it uh, should be pretty fun. See ya.